Hi everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. Believe it or not, I have done three videos today. This is number three. I'm kind of like on a roll and I'm really glad because I feel like I I got some stuff done today. So we are going to play with our envelope junk journal. Um, I had one of you ask me, Miss Sagita, about this and I was like, yeah, we're, I haven't, I haven't, uh, finished it yet but it's coming along and so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because I wanted to play and do some decorating today um you know it's funny what I did I got out um I'm just pulling these tapes out just in case I want to play with those they're nice to put as like a strengthener on the spine on the inside um, yeah, what I decided to do was do some decorating on this last back pages. I still have some envelopes left that have not been decorated. Um, and then, you know, I thought, well, I'll bring my girls along because I know a couple of you had requested that I make sure and show this part because you were saying it, it's hard to find things to, you know, they're kind of hard to decorate. And I agree. I think it's all, um... You know, for me, it is seeming to be a lot of collaging or laying down of papers and then collaging on top of that. Some have been left blank just because I love the paper. I think it looks gorgeous all by itself. And this is a nice pocket, you know, um, here. And so, yeah, but on most of them, I have done a little bit of... Now this was actually a collage master board I cut down and so this is in my shop. Um, I cut down the original finally. <laughs> took a lot for me to do that. I've been hoarding those. But yeah, so anyway, another one here is a collage master board also in the shop. I think they're in the same kit actually. This one's got a pocket on the front here. Um, yeah, so I am going to just go for some decorating. This piece here I did onto a coffee dyed piece of paper. And all I did was all of those washi tapes, I started tearing them and tearing them and tearing them. And just just laying them down and collaging. And even on the back of this is collaged just like this. But I went ahead and glued this down as a pocket. But um, yeah, I did it kind of like a coin a koi purse pocket so sorry guys and um just tore the pieces of tape and then i did a little bit of stamping on top but i before i did that i took my glue stick and instead of mod podging over the the tape the tape i glue sticked over it and i let it dry for you know a couple, I, I didn't use it for a couple days and it came out really pretty cool it's very grungy looking and then i did the um after that i did the stamping on top so yeah, it, it looks pretty tight. I like it. Did I just say tight? I did. That's my word. It used to be my word. It's not my word so much anymore. So I'm surprised it slipped out of my mouth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> on to other things. So on these envelopes, I, um, this one I have as a pocket there. Uh, let's see. I cut them in different places and some of them I haven't even cut yet. Um, I think I will cut this one like this. And I'm just prepping it so I can cover it. Um, the paper that I used on some of these was that rice paper that I had printed on. And that really worked well for me because I was able... Oh, I had this cut at the top. Didn't even know. Well, you know what? Now it's going to be a tuck. Because I did that with another one and it turned out really good. Watch. Let me show you. Um, let's see this one here. And I papered on the inside. And because it's a tuck, I can I was able to paper it really easily. Yeah, so I like that one. So yeah, this will be another tuck on this one here. And this one is a pocket on its own. And then this one is another pocket on its own. I mean, I could take paper and put over this on these ones that are open like this to strengthen it. And then actually um let me see how is this opening is it it's kind of glued down on its own that's weird anyway what i was going to say i could just for fun try that i haven't thought about it open this up at the top on both sides and then paper both sides yeah or even make it 
I'm going to do something. I'm going to cut this one and make it a half tuck. And I'm going to take this part and I am going to, let's see, do I want to cut it out or do I just want to make it a, let's see here. Cut the top off. I did that kind of uneven. Now this is a flip out. And I think what I'll do is I might paper this with some nice coffee dyed paper and have it as a flip out. That's kind of a cool idea. I like that. Maybe I'll do that with both of these. That would be fun, right? I think it'd be fun because I haven't done it in any of the other spots in the journal, so it's something different to do. I'm just going to use this to pull this paper because I'm ripping it and I don't want to rip it. There we go. And like I said, I will paper this and it'll be papered on both sides. So it'll strengthen it. Okay. Let's see here. Boy, this got glued down good, huh? So. There's that. I'm going to do this side as well. I'm just going to snip that off. There we go. And so this will be a little stronger. I'm going to go ahead and glue this back down. But like I said, I am going to cover that. So this I will probably leave as a tuck space, as a tuck spot. And then this side I am going to have as a pull out or flip out and a flip out to write on. Okay. And then on this part, let me see, this one's already sealed shut. So I am, did I cut this open? Yes. Yay. It's cut open already. So that's a pocket. This one is, did I cut this one open? I did not. So I can do anything I want with the top part. Now this I did glue. I just glued um, one of my friend Lena's strips that she had in one of her kits that I love. And I glued that down and just distressed it and made it look dingy and grungy and I made it into a pocket. Okay. So I did that in the back because I felt like the back wasn't getting any attention and I wanted to do something back here and I thought, oh, that would be a good idea. This is another one that is open as a pocket. I'm going to end up having to trim this right here. And on some of these papers that are like, not really back here, but up here, uh, let's see here, let me find one. Like right here, how it's kind of floppy. So what I did in the front was reinforce it with other papers, so I will probably do that in the back here again, simply because I don't want this to be going like all over the place. I want it to have more of a strength. See here, I reinforced it with this paper so it was flopping all over the place now it's not that way also it looks cool and this way it's not um it's not going to fall apart on whoever buys the journal you know it's just it's not it's nice and strong i put some of that tape and i did some more of the haberdashery paper there that goes actually really well with this pocket you know so yeah And you can kind of see it in this one. It's a little more movable. It's very secure. I've got it in there really secure. But this piece is not, it's more like when you open it, you can kind of see the base of it moving. And I think it's because of the way everything's attached. So, yeah. But it is attached good. This I reinforced, you know, so. Anyway. This is reinforced too, so you can see. Because I used that packing paper, if you remember. Um, I was using that packing paper. And it's very, actually very thin. 
And it's funny, this one feels pretty strong, this piece here. Like, I don't... I could put a piece here, though, to strengthen it if I want. Um, I think I'm going to do uh, maybe some stamping in the corner on this. And then I'm probably going to do a pocket <clears throat> on the outside. This is already a double the way it is. I'm not really sure how I managed that. Oh, okay, I remember. I glued... This is out of my um, watercolor garden. And I put that as a pocket on top of the envelope and then there's the envelope so yeah. so I'll probably do another pocket on the back half but only like a half one for a tag or a journal card or paper or whatever okay so let's get started this now this part is pretty easy you can use um you know I haven't done and might be fun is to let's see I have a book over here I have a couple of books actually and I know one of these I had used for spraying, yeah, this one, I had used for spraying my oxides in, so it's totally grungy. Look at that. And I'm thinking that I really like these two pages and these two pages. I have a lot of green and a lot of vintage brown and a photo, you know, vintage photo. And then I have a lot of teal in this as well. So, in this book. So, yeah. What I was thinking was it would be, it would look kind of cool to just do. And that is like almost a perfect size. I could do just a page. Or we could... Collage, <laughs> you know me and collage. Or I could use these on the inside of my of my envelopes too, so that when you look down inside, you've got you know book page. I kind of like that idea. And then I could just glue this. I could just fold this over, and glue it down, and then glue something on top of that. Yeah. I think I might do that. Okay, so I'm trying to remember now. Did I use my glue stick for this a lot or did I use my glue? I think I used mostly my glue stick. Um, I am going to grab a glue page. If I can find my pages. There they are. Oops, yeah, oh well, it's okay. I was going to say, I hope you guys get inspired with this. And I have been, you know, honestly, when I first started doing this, I'd only seen a couple of other videos. Now I've gone back onto YouTube and realized that there was like a lot of people were doing this, I guess. Um, I didn't know other than, I think I inadvertently ran across uh, Rachel, Rachel and Bella Croft. Rachel and Bella Crafts video of it um and then uh, yeah I think that was the only one I saw and I was like oh I like that idea I'm gonna do it and then <laughs> and then I'm gonna do it my way you know how I told you from the beginning and then I get over the other day and I start looking online I'm trying to get this in here Lord help me please thank you um and I'm <laughs> it was so funny because I'm like oh wow there's a lot of these <laughs> people have done junk journal. I need more glue. This is being persnickety with me. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh wow. And there's tons of ways to do it. And yeah, this is just my way. So if y'all don't like this way and you want to try another, you know, another method or, you know, you find something that's easier, go for it. Let me know. I just love it to see people try new things. So whatever you decide is it's going to be fun. I just want it to be fun for you. So if you get inspired to look around and see if you find, you know, different ones, you can kind of, I like to a lot of times find different people and combine my methods with their methods and then maybe a third and fourth person's methods and, you know, and just come up with my own thing that I like. I think that's fun. So 
I'm just going to take a piece of this. I don't care that these are brown and those are green and, you know, all of that. I'm really looking to just cover the inside of... I do think it would be kind of fun. I'm going to do the green on one side. I'm going to do green on both sides and brown on both sides. Just, just to be... Just to be different. Because this is just, like I said, this is just to go on the inside and when they look into the pocket, they'll see a book page. You know, just to line that envelope. So that's all this is for. So I'm going to take it. Make sure. I'm sorry if I'm taking it out of camera. It's hard to. There we go. All right, and then this is just going to get folded over like the other one did. And this just reinforces your envelope as well because these envelopes are pretty fragile, actually. And, uh, you know, if you've used them before, you know what I mean. And, um, okay, now this one I'm going to do the main, the big piece I'm going to do with the green out. I love that mossy color of green. I think it's cool looking. And this time I'm going to do it from this one. Wait, I want to do it the same. Okay, good. Okay, I'm just trying to get that into the corner as much as possible. I think I had opened this one up before and glued the top shut because... I ended up, I opened up too much of it um, because this part is glued together and I'm pretty sure I did that <laughs> and this part is not. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. And then we'll do the vintage photo on the bottom on this side. You don't even have to line these envelopes. Oh, you know what? This side I need more. That page was shorter. Oh, well, it's okay. We're just going to patch it in there. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, what, I, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, you don't even have to line these if you don't choose to. This is completely, you know, whatever your style, whatever your choice is, you know, it's, yeah, it's just for fun. And like I said, it, it does help in the long run with giving your, um, giving your envelopes a little bit more strength, reinforcing them, but yeah, it's not a must. Okay. All right. One more. And I know it's totally not matching, but it, I mean, it is matching, sort of, and it's all in the same kind of grungy, shabby chic style. So I think ultimately that it does all kind of flow, you know, the only thing I'm trying to do is get this as deep into the corner as I can without tearing this book page because it's mighty old. And it's getting a little bit bent up down here because it's fighting with me. There we go. All right. So now there's the inside. And that's what it looks like. So you guys can see. Just cute. I am going to be covering the outside so the white of the envelope's not going to shine through as much as it is right now. And if you wanted, you could take one of those skinny brushes and put it down in there and kind of swipe Distress Ink and, you know, deal with it if you wanted. Okay. So now we could use book page. We could use DigiKit, uh, you know, a DigiPaper. Um, let me see here. I'm looking through what I have right here next to me. Uh... I actually, this paper is kind of cool. I actually, before I started today, 
I grabbed this bowl and I went through all of my little cases. I have all my fussy cuts in that I can't ever have next to me because there's just too many of them. I have like, I don't know, I have like 10 of them and they're full of everything I've, I've fussy cut other than what I have in all those envelopes. So I went into those and I pulled out a bunch of stuff to pick from, like all my, some of my favorites. I just grabbed out of each bin, you know, and just threw them in this, threw them in this bowl so that I could use them today with you guys. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this piece on this side. I like this, so I am going to use it. And, oh, well, you know what? This side, I think I'll use this side. It's got butterflies. That's pretty. Yeah. I had stamped it with gold. I don't know if you can see them good. They're like a, a copper colored ink I used on top of that purple. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. So we're going to we're gonna do this. Oh, you know what? I think instead of the glue stick, I'm going to use the glue. The glue glue. Because this paper's pretty thick. It can handle it. And then that way we know it's down good. Stick a little bit under there where that tear where that tears at. Usually I I think I explain this all the time. I don't usually use art glitter glue on thinner paper because it shows through all these lines show through. If you've used it at all, you know, and it dries super quick and you know you've got these ugly lines. I just don't really like that, so I hardly ever use it, but in this case, I'm going to use it because this paper is actually a heavier weighted copy paper. It's still a copy paper, but it's, it's got a thicker feel to it, so you won't be able to see the lines through it. Grab my dry wipe. Now what I'm going to do on the side here where it's uneven, instead of trying to uh, cut it or any of that stuff. I'm probably going to do that reinforcing thing in the spine area with either some Tim Holtz tape or some other paper. And I'm just going to trim this paper off without cutting my envelope. Okay. Don't cut your envelope. Got this teeny tiny little corner. You know, that's what we were all talking about. These are so, envelopes are so hard to cover. I had more than one of you tell me, oh, you know, I hate trying to cover every space on those envelopes. And I can totally see why, but when you're done, if you, you know, just get kind of creative with your fussy cuts, you can collage some really cool collages. And then also you're like, we're doing your book pages or your digitals. I mean, you can actually have a lot of fun doing this. Where's my other glue? I could have sworn I had another one. This is actually a brand new cap. I changed, I left the bottle, but I saved the cap. I used the cap because my other cap was so clogged I couldn't get the glue out. So I could have sworn I had another one sitting here, but I don't see it. Oh well. All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably, I don't know, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to use, like, the tape. I know that totally doesn't match, but at the same time, it totally matches. Do you know what I'm saying? But this really looks good. So I'm going to probably use these tickets. This is cute. Because there's purple in them there, tickets. So they're matching that paper. I like that. But we are going to have to cut this so that it's even with, and maybe even above it. I'm not going to worry about it, whether it's perfect or not. There we go. <clears throat> so this is how I was reinforcing these pieces. Okay. And I like to glue. I do like to have some glue on this tape, even though it's a nice fabric tape. I still don't trust it. I've seen it come up too easily. You can, of course, do the glue stick. I am just going to run my art glitter glue along it. It doesn't need to be perfect, and it doesn't need... I don't find that I need to have it everywhere, just enough to make sure this tape doesn't lift. 
As long as I get it on my edges and then somewhat in the middle, I'm happy. And thus far, I've not had it raise. Because it does have its own mucilage, you know, its own sticky on there. Do you like how I knew that word, mucilage? Did you know that's what that's called? I didn't used to know until I worked as a master in a factory. The sticky stuff on the tape, the residue, is mucilage. Isn't that an ugly word? <laughs> but anyway, that is what it is when you can't get it off your package, when they put a tag on your package and it's got that sticky, gooey, that's called mucilage, and it comes off really good. Not on paper, of course, but it comes off really well off stuff when you use nail polish remover. Not non-acetone. you got to have the acetone. Or when you just use acetone, <laughs> it comes off. <laughs> Little tip there for you, in case you didn't know. Okay, so there's that page. And now, because of it being this way on the envelope, I think I'll probably leave this as a journaling spot because it just looks kind of cool, you know, for that. So on this part, I'm going to just go ahead and trim this piece off. Now I could have, if I hadn't have done, if I hadn't done the book page the way that I did, I probably would have tucked this in to the envelope and glued it down. But because I did do it the way I did, I don't really feel like, you know, I don't want to take away from the book page in there. I like it. Okay. I can't even believe I've gotten, I've done three videos today. It's crazy. I guess I'm feeling a little better. I, I had felt, you know, like so overwhelmed. Now I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll post this this week instead and give it to you guys early. I might. I might. If you see this the week of uh, February 28th, or 20, whatever it is, what is it? The 27th, today is Monday. Then you'll know I posted it. I posted four video or five videos this week instead of four. Okay, because I already have stuff up for the other days. All right, let me see. What do we want to do to this side, you guys? Because we can do anything we want. Let's play. Let's collage a little bit. Let's have some fun. I do love to collage around the envelopes. If I want to leave the um, this open, you know, so it shows, I really do like collaging around these. So I probably will do that. Um, and you can already tell the tape is making that so much stronger. It's not feeling floppy anymore. So let me see this side. I will probably do something like that on this side as well. Because this side, it just kind of looks nice the way it is. And I, I don't really want to take away from the mushrooms and all that's there. Now I'm thinking maybe I'll go ahead and skip that and do this piece first. This is a tuck like we talked about. I'm going to go ahead and glue this little piece down so it's not flopping all over the place. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And so for this, I think, I think, I think, hmm, that's too big. I'm going to, I'm going to collage. Yeah, let's play. Okay. So where is my, I've been so good. I've been putting away even my ink the one I use all the time, <laughs> my vintage photo. Okay. I like doing this because you can do it around this thing, see? And you can tear this down and put it up here. In fact, I think I'll do that this time, just so we can cover this little spot right away. Let's see. Yeah. And you can bring it down over the window somewhat. I don't want to cover the whole window, but I don't mind it being over it to some extent. You know. There's no rule that says, you know, there's no hard and fast rule that says, oh, we have to. Oh, you know what I did forget to do? Darn. And I did it on every other envelope, but I haven't worked on it in a minute and I forgot. I want to make sure I do this. 
I am doing this because sometimes the white, I don't want any white to show. And so if I don't, if I don't get the piece directly where I want it, I'm going to do this because my glue is drying, but I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that in a second. Um, say I have a spot that isn't covered, at least the paper underneath is already brown. Does that make sense? It's already, you know, distressed and I don't need to worry about it uh, not looking right. And I don't, it, I know this is totally, this is messy and dirty looking and that's what I want. I want it grungy. I, I'm not worried about it being perfect at all. So. And to me, in fact, the grungier the better. And I want to take it like over here, I'm going to have it up at the edge because like I said, just in case I don't bring anything right to the edge, the paper underneath is already dealt with. There's no white shining through. So it's going to be good. And then you can just wipe it off of the, the cellophane or whatever it is. I don't know. What's that called? I can't go what that's called. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying. Ooh, I like that streak. That looks cool. All right. So now this is all nice and covered. And I'll just run my dry wipe here along this and wipe that off. Okay. All right. Back to work. Now, I've got some butterflies. Oh, those are pretty right there. Let's put those there. And these are printed out on vellum, so I'm going to use my glue stick for this. I think that's for the best. I like those there. And they look cool, the brown showing through. Can you see that? Yeah, I like that. And... Gosh, I have so many, um, these are those ones I was telling you about that are Tina's, the big, uh, what you call it, I can't think of what it's called, but you know what I think I'm going to do is kind of theme this area, so there's butterflies, and then I've got that one, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and utilize, I did this in the front, I haven't shown you guys everything yet, I did this in the front, um, here, I did stamps. I just collaged with stamps on all of this. So, there's a couple of things that aren't stamps, but for the most part, those first two pages. And then, of course, this little baby girl and some writing spice. But, yeah, and I just thought it was fun to kind of, I don't want to call it a theme, but I guess, in a way, just whatever area you're looking at, um, that it comes together like that, you know. So on this one, I'm going to use all from the same digi kit. This, these are all from, gosh, I don't know. It's an old kit I've had for a while, and I don't remember who I got it from. But anyway, um, might have been Louise, but I don't, I don't even, I don't even want to say because I don't know. But anyway, we're going to collage with these. So, and I may even collage over on this page just to bring the whole, um, make it, you know, one cohesive look and on this I am going over the clear it doesn't matter like I said and I will be putting something inside here to show through that'll kind of go with all of this these are cool they've got like words and phrases and sayings I really like this kit and I just wish I could remember I'd have to open my computer and all of that to figure out where it came from but If, if I can remember, I will try to post it in the description. Either a link to the kit itself or their Etsy or to uh, just letting you know who it is. I can tell you this, more than likely, it's one of those listed in my list of favorite shops. Um, 
because I do tend to, I'm really excited. This goes like right perfect with this guy. I do tend to use a lot of stuff from all of them. So. Okay. And I have all those links, you know. So this is totally leaking. That's very annoying. It must be this bottle because I know it leaks with the other one too. As I push, it just comes out the side. It's very annoying. It's a waste of my glue. Now the other bottle does not do that. So. Okay. So this is pretty much, I mean, for the most part, I, I do, like I said, I do a lot of I want to say it's more like fussy cut bit pieces collaging um, when I do the envelopes because I find, well, for one thing, I like it. I do. I like it a lot. And I'll also use like a whole piece and break it down and, and use it, but I really like the way it looks. So, yeah, I think it's cute. And I love the more grungy, the better, and, you know, the more I... The more I do these journals, I've totally fallen in love with grungy. Okay. I'm going to get a new wipe because that one's got glue all over it. Because of the leak, not because I'm actually using it. Let me see. I've got some more over here. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at this guy. He's pretty. He fits right there really good. What time is it? Okay. We are at 36 minutes right now. All right. Yep, we're going to set him right there. And in fact, I'm going to bring him up. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I just love these. I don't know. I think they're cute. And like I said, you could also, I think I mentioned, you can also tear them like I did that top one. Um, you know, just kind of for fun. And I think I will with this these edgings because these are, they're going to not fit if I don't. So I'm going to take advantage of that and tear the edges. I think that's totally cute. I love that look so much. With fabric and paper. <laughs> okay. Now we have covered that almost completely covered that little stamp spot for the stamp there and I think what I'll do is use a smaller piece to cover like hmm. that's cute right there yeah I think I'll use him this is a Tina envelope or I mean a Tina butterfly I'm just going to put him so that he covers those words there where the stamp would be. And I like him there. He's cute. And in fact, I'm going to go, oops, strong one. Let me see here. I'm going to add a little piece of bling to him to make the page kind of have a little bit of a pop very, very grungy looking. Got to bring a little class into the picture. <laughs> so I'm going to just put a dot of glue on the back. There we go. All 
All right, now back to, she was a wild, wicked slip of a girl. She burned too brightly for this world. Let's see, live your beliefs and you can turn the world around. Oh, I like this one. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. I like that one. So we are going to tear this a little bit, and I'm going to use it on the edge there again. I'm debating on what piece I want to use on the inside of this. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it as I'm looking at it. I might have to pause because I think I might have to go look for the for something, you know. I have stuff that would go. I just probably don't have a piece of it right here with me. Okay. I'm kind of letting that hang over. And I'm thinking I might run like a piece of um, lace or something really thin, even a rope. A ribbon, you know, just something fun. <clears throat> okay, let me see. All right, oh, this one's pretty. We're gonna use that one to go right there. And I don't want to, no, I think I'll use this one. Where do I want to use this one over here? No. Hmm. Huh, huh. I don't want to tear this one. That's why I'm debating. Because <coughs> these, I have some thinner little slip of the things. They're not from the same kit, but they give the same feel. You know what I mean? And they would probably go along that edge very well. Yeah, so we're gonna put those. So what I'm gonna do is, for this little corner here, I think, hmm, hmm. You know what? Yeah, this little guy. I think he goes good there. I'm not going to glue him down yet. I want to put some of these. I want to put this one down first. And then I'll have my space where I want him to be. Because I want him to, I want the camera to be on top of this part. There we go. I had the nicest conversation with one of you today. Um, talked to you on the phone. It was a real blessing and privilege to get to speak with you. Miss Annette. <laughs> I've gotten to talk to a few of you now and I'm really blessed whenever you guys call me or reach out and want to talk and seriously I, you know, took her and I a minute to get it together because we kept missing each other but we got it finally. You know, I just love you girls. I mean that. It's uh, it's amazing to me what the Lord has done in my life in this short little time of meeting all of you and being blessed to get to know you and pray with you or have you pray for me or, you know, I mean, it's just... <sighs> I think about, you know, how much I love different ones that I watch. And I'm like Tina, you know, I just love her. I do. And, you know, to be able to have that relationship with you all is, and you know, it's not just about me getting on here and talking and visiting with you, but it's, it's real, you know, it's becoming real life, real, real relationship to where, we know we can pray for one and we're praying for one another and 
you know, we're believing the Lord for the best for each other because we actually are getting to know the other person. It's not just about someone who's on YouTube who isn't a real person who's just someone you admire or whatever. But, you know, we, we are real people and we have real lives. And no, you can't talk to everybody every day all the time. But when I can, I do talk to people. And, um, you know, that's why I always tell you to reach out. And when I can, I sure will be there to talk with you and to get to know you. And then we have the Facebook group where we're all getting to be really close. And, you know, it's a blessing. You know, there's there's not that many of us know. There's not thousands of us yet. And I say yet because I really believe there will be eventually many, many more people who join our group. Um, I truly believe that. I'm thinking about maybe putting this little tab somewhere. You know, me and tabs. I love my tabs. Plus, that would just look cute coming out of the book, right? No, it won't really come out because it's... <laughs> It'll still look cute. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah, you know, and I'm just... I was thinking today when I got to speak with her, you know, it's amazing to me that I'm I'm being honored and blessed like this. To You guys are real people to me. You know, you, you're real. I pray for you and, and you're real. You're my sisters and my family in Christ. And it's, a, it's just an amazing blessing to me to actually get to be a part of knowing you, you know. I know I'm a, I'm a mushy sort I'm always mushy I'm always getting all lovey dovey and if you were with me in real life you'd know I'm like that in real life too I'm a hugger <laughs> I am so this is just me now what I was thinking was my little collage paper looks pr pretty cute showing through there and then I could use um, some like coffee dyed paper um, to cover the initial part of it and then put that on top. So that's what I'm going to do. I uh, am yeah, right now. I'm going to grab a piece of, do I have a piece of coffee dyed paper here? You know what I could use is just a music sheet. I could use a page of music and then put it on top of that. That would be cute, right? I'm going to cut this so I can kind of fold it over. Okay. And then I'm going to, let's see. I'm just going to um, fold it and then tear it. to see if I did that right. And then I can fold it like this. It'll just strengthen my edge there, like I said before. You guys see okay? Alright. I'm going to do a trim here just a little bit. Anyway, yeah, I guess all I'm trying to say is, hey, I love you guys. Okay, now, let me see. So I'm going to put that there, fold that over. I think because it's the music paper, um, I can get away with doing the glue <clears throat> stick again because it's so I'll probably use the other glue for my my collage because that's thicker paper but because this is that old-fashioned thin vintage and well antique paper it's so it's so old it'll hold with the glue stick now just pray for me that I can get it in here Oh, this is the hard. This is the challenge. Is actually getting that glue stick into the corner. You know, because it grabs. It just grabs right away. And wants to hold. Yeah, it's doing it. Uh, I can always trim it off if it doesn't want to do it right. Yeah. There we go. I did it. I did it. Yay! 
Praise you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now I will have to trim that top, but that's okay. We're just going to run this along here because this is going to be covered with something else. So um, I'm doing this totally because of reinforcement, and also it'll give me a nice smooth edge, edge in case the piece that I do put on this other side is like right to the edge you know what I'm saying it'll this piece will be there to kind of just be a smooth uh, transition to the next page yeah y'all know what I mean right so yeah there we go there's that and actually I'm glad I didn't put that in upside down I actually could just leave that let's see I mean because it does look good just the music paper I mean All right, so this is a tuck spot, like I said. Now, let's put the collage here and see what we think. <clears throat> I wonder if I cut this bottom part down. So that, there we go. I don't know, I kind of like that. And then the music page you know, is there on the edge. So when they open it, they can see it's a collage on top of the music page. Or should I just leave? Hmm. Or should I just put her and the baby down here? Huh. Let's do that. Let's see. I'm going to tear it. funny it's almost painful to do that because it's my collage my master board and this was one of the very first master boards I ever made so <laughs> yeah but I do need to distress it a little that part's torn because it is really old probably dictionary page or something So I'm thinking that now you can see the music, but also you can see her and the baby. And the little key. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna um gonna kind of run a little bit of glue right here along this edge very carefully, mind you, just to kind of seal that back down. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. It worked. Yay. All right. Now I will do glue, the glue here. If I rub that glue stick across that tear again, it's going to rip. So, yeah. I don't want to do that. Okay. All right, there we go. Mommy and baby are about to be in their place. This cute little tuck spot right there. So there you go, guys. That's how I do a window. I hope you like that. I really do. I think it's pretty darn cute. And now all we have, we have this space for writing. And so you can kind of grasp what I was talking about. Each, each little section kind of has its own flavor, you know? So, and I, and I like that. So on this one here, I was thinking I might try the, um, I was looking at this. I've been wanting to use this so bad and I, it's getting torn, dang it. It's a collage, a book page collage, as you can see. And I just did some sprinkles with that metallic type paint. And I was thinking I could put that here, but I'm not going to because it's pretty daggone weak. And I would have to like Mod Podge over it or something. Now this is another collage page. Um, 
then I could do one side on here and then one side on here if I wanted. All right, or, hmm, let me see, oh, let me see. Then we have, ooh, how big is this? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, I like this piece. And again, I am going to, okay, I think I'm going to use this. So instead of the dark brown on this piece, uh, let me see, will it cover? I'm just making sure that it's wide enough to cover, like, to the edge. It is, okay. But do I have a piece to go with it? That's the question. Let me check. I don't want to use something and then find out that what I put on the other page is not really going to go. Oh, let's see. Oh, that'll look nice together, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay. These are just things I have sitting here next to my desk. I totally... Uh, yeah, they're just kind of here. So anyway, what I was going to say is... Should I do that like this? I kind of like the lines. Um, as you can see, there's kind of this green in here, so I was thinking if I used, where is my, ah, here's the salvaged patina, might look nice, um, instead of the vintage photo. Grab my, nope, not you. you. I had it. I knew it's here. Ha! Here. See? Told you. <laughs> not crazy. Yeah. Well, a little bit, but not about that. So I'm going to go ahead and just go around the edges and get this nice and matchy matchy. Now this will probably be covered, but I'm just putting it on here in case, because it's really not the same green, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try and bring it in. If the paper's not really, I want to put the other piece over here, I think, and so it's not really long enough. And this is, like I said, this is just covering the white so that when I look at it, you know, just in case I don't catch every spot. Um, now like right there, it's got glue and it's not picking up the ink. And this is ink, it's not oxide. I bought the salvage patina ink. So yeah, it's. I don't think the oxide would pick up on there either. It's just a gluey spot. But what I think I'm gonna do is put the shorter piece over here. And you can see up there, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, which side do I want to use? Do I want to use the full flower side? Or I like this strip. I don't want to lose that. But I don't really think I need it in this case. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use the better glue, the hardcore stuff. I do need to measure here whether I like it or not. I'm just going to go right over, and I'm going to fold this. Um, just trying to save this piece. I like that, so I don't want to lose it. I'll probably still have to cut this, but I wanted it to at least be close enough. I actually can probably do it like that. And, yeah. I'm going to cut right on that edge as close as I can and as even as I can because heaven forbid I pull out my cutter you know me guys these scissors I don't like them for that they don't hold I can't get that grip okay. 
Let's see how well I did. <laughs> we shall see. And I'm going to do the edge because that's just what I do. I don't like the weight. Now what I think I'll do is put this edge on this side like so. Flowers look fine that way. I'm going to cover up that green. Yeah, there we go. So there's the piece. Okay. All right. So we just got to run our glue. Well, I hope that you, what time is it? Oh, we got to, we got to stop. This will be our last piece. Okay. Um, But I hope you guys are feeling inspired, even if it's not for a junk envelope junk journal. Just any, you know, little thing grabs your attention. Oh, I like that trick, or I like this, I'll use that, I'll use that. I watch people for inspiration every day because I need it. I need it, you know. None of us are... <laughs> I mean, none of us are the end-all be-all. That's why we have so many of these channels and so many different styles. That's why we have Pinterest, you know. It's why we have all these different places that we turn to for our inspiration. And, uh, you know, so I hope that you felt inspired today. And if you did feel inspired, I really would appreciate it if you'd hit like on the video. I really love the inside of that. Um, that you'd hit like on the video. And also, if you really really felt inspired and you like the channel that you would become a member of our family here at Terra State. Um, and also I mentioned in another video I believe but I'm going to say again I would love it if you guys would comment because comment even if it's just a heart or a thumbs up you know anything just to say you were there because that gets the algorithm moving and it really pushes the channel out gets the videos out to other people and um, helps the growth of my channel and I really appreciate that it would help me out a lot you guys so thank you so much for doing that and like I said you don't have to write a long comment if you're not a commenter I totally get that I'm not either but just a like or a thumbs up you know something to let the algorithm know that you were there and that's what we did today so we got this page for for journaling and we got the inside of the envelope there. We got this. We're not done with them. I'm going to do something with that. And then this side is going to be this other portion. Okay. And then we did the flip. And the, and the little collaging around the window. And the inside is totally fun. I will do something on here probably. Even if it's just, I don't know, distressing the edges. You know, just to bring it into some kind of alignment um yeah i'll do something there so anyway i love you guys be blessed and be safe and well and happy crafting and i will see you guys in the next video god bless bye